What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV and one of the shorter Call of Duty World War II weapon reviews you'll be seeing from the channel this year. You may have noticed in my last weapon review on the US Shovel, my omission of a new Twitter weapon pull. If you didn't know, after almost every single weapon review, I pin a poll to my Twitter profile at Black Tide TV. I give you guys four options or however many options are remaining in the current tier of weapons. And I ask you guys to vote on which weapon review you'd like to see next. I've foregone this method of selection for today's review of the M1 Bazooka because quite honestly, I need to finish the M1 Bazooka and forget that this weapon has ever existed before I lose my mind. I have used this weapon to completion, I've completed gold camouflage, and I absolutely despise it. It has completely destroyed my kill death ratio, or whatever's left from my kill death ratio after using the shovel, and I'm not happy about it. So, launchers in Call of Duty World War II are a joke, and they shouldn't have even been added to the game with this launch basic training at the very least. But I'm not going to get into a crazy tangent about the launchers in general. This is a review of the M1 Bazooka after all. The M1 Bazooka, while I made a couple videos about the Panzer and how bad the Panzer is, turns out that was just a variant glitch. So if you're using variants of the Panzer, you're going to have a very hard time shooting down air support. However, if you are using the base Panzer, the base Panzer is a thousand times better than the M1 Bazooka. The M1 Bazooka is the worst launcher in the game, which isn't saying much. There are only two launchers in the game. But the rocket flies substantially slower than the Panzer. The rocket flies straight, which is great. It's a super, super accurate launcher. There is very little sway in the rocket when you fire it. You can map people with this thing. If you're firing at infantry, you see a guy across the map and you know he's not going to move for a good three or four seconds, you fire this rocket and it will fly straight into him from across the map. When you're seeing air support, you're going to have to lead them quite a bit, but if you're shooting at air support, you will very easily be able to shoot them down because it is very, very accurate. But like I said, that rocket flies extremely slow, which makes shooting down air support tedious because you're waiting for the rocket to hit. That is, if the rocket is going to hit in the first place. In my opinion, the iron sights, or the base variant iron sights at bare minimum, seem off-kilter on the M1 Bazooka. As in, I always seem to be aiming slightly above or below where the air support should be in order to make contact. Therefore, the rocket itself is extremely accurate, but the iron sights not so much. Maybe it's because the iron sights are a little thick or wide, and they're not really defined, but that's a nitpick in the grand scheme of things. My major problem with the M1 Bazooka comes in its secondary use. The M1 Bazooka is clearly the anti-aircraft launcher of the two between the M1 and the Panzer, but you're still going to have to use the M1 Bazooka in some capacity against infantry, and this is where it gets good. While the Panzer Shrek is totally capable of a double kill based on blast radius alone, the M1 Bazooka has no blast radius. If you land a rocket immediately in front of an enemy, you won't get a hit marker. If you land a rocket immediately behind an enemy, you won't get a hit marker. If you land a rocket beside them, damn, if you land a rocket between the legs of an enemy, they won't die, they won't take damage, you are going to get killed because you look like an asshole shooting a rocket at someone that doesn't do anything. The only way that you can really kill people with this rocket launcher is to direct impact them, which is pretty difficult. Good luck getting your double kills with this rocket launcher. Took me quite some time. At the end of the day, rocket launchers are simply ineffective in Call of Duty World War II. It's very difficult to shoot down air support. It's very difficult to kill enemy infantry. And this all goes without saying that you'll have to use a very specific basic training, further limiting your creator class in order to use these launchers. I would rather use Rifleman, a pistol, or even the shovel any day of the week. With that in mind, I'll be rating the M1 Bazooka 2 out of 10. Not quite broken, but certainly not worth your time unless you plan to complete the final camouflage challenge in Call of Duty World War 2 and unlock what I believe to be Chrome Camo. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. What do you think about the launchers in Call of Duty World War 2? 
Did you spot the hidden Astro logo in today's video? If you come with the correct timestamp down below, you'll be given 5 entries in my Astro A20 giveaway. That is it for today's video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.